Today is a pretty exciting day. We have a lot going on. We've got the turtle pond starting to get made. We have the walls are getting framed. We've got drywall going and up. And I hear we're actually going to be starting to spread coral throughout the exhibits. Before we check out what Ahmed's been doing with the coral, we finally got the cover of the front of the enclosure for the stingray. I love it. We want that kind of charcoal look. And then as you walk up here, you can see all the blue. And then you can see this kind of feel of the ocean coming out. It's looking absolutely incredible. So essentially what they did was they built this backdrop, right? That kind of looked like a coral. Now we want pieces of coral to be kind of jumping out and kind of all over the place. But that's what makes it look really like an ocean. I love the blue background now that really makes things pop out. It would be great. But the problem I think we're going to have is we may not have enough coral to go around to do everything Thing we want to do. They're helping me out because obviously I'm not a mason. You know, I work with boulders, so I'm gonna leave it up to the professionals. And these guys are killing it right now. Yeah. So what they're doing is they're gonna be putting all the cinder block up, and then in between here, they're gonna be pouring all the concrete to make this solid. Then after that, once that settles, they're gonna come back in all these voids. They're gonna skim coat all of this and make it look really smooth. That way, I can come back and do my artistic work on the other side. Oh, it's gonna be so sick, Jeff! I cannot wait to see what you do with this thing. My mind is just spinning right now with with ideas. What are you doing? What are you doing over here? I'm trying to grind the bottom of these so when I put my epoxy on they help stick better. This wasn't exactly what we expected, right? Normally they would have a pin. Yeah, yeah, in the bottom. Easily. So what's the challenge and how are you fixing it? So I'm just grinding them because it has that slick resin. So grinding them, give them bite. Drill a hole, put the pins in. Drill a hole in the coral. I think that's a good fix, huh? Yeah, yeah. Is that your plan for today is to get as much of this coral up as possible? Yeah, between today and tomorrow we should have it. This is all the coral that we have. This isn't going to work. <laughs> There's like eight pieces. Yeah, I know. There, there has to be more, number one. But good Lord, we have one, two, three, four poles, two, th three exhibits. And the stairs. <laughs> okay, we need to find out where more coral is going to come from. How are you doing? Doing all right. I'm trying to figure out where all the coral is. Yeah. But we need a lot more, right? <laughs> Are you trying to do like a Jesus miracle where he turned like the, what is it the, <laughs> the, the, fish. the fish into the loaves <laughs> and the bread? Stuff like that? Yeah. Can we do something like that and somehow make this more than it is? Because there's no way this is anywhere near enough. I, yeah, that's like I think that's 20 pieces, and I feel like I need another 30. Yeah, pieces. yeah, and then what? We got this. We've got all those poles. We've got two other exhibits that yeah. need them, so. Yeah, we're gonna need to figure out how to get a lot more than this. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to call Steve. Of course, we have to have coral on the poles. We've got three poles that are all kind of coraled up. So we need a bunch of pieces for coral for these. We've got the stairs over here that need coral pieces to kind of make it come to life as well. And then of course, we have Bermuda Triangle, the touch tank that needs lots of corals. You can see they're already kind of placing coral stuff, but there's quite a bit of coral that needs to go all over the place. It's just not gonna look like a reef, right? So they've gotta kind of be full up with coral. Yeah. Med didn't order a ton just because he thought this might be enough. So now we have to figure out a solution. Of course, remember these coral inserts that we bought? We bought two of them, right? Well, one of them is gonna go into that enclosure right over there. But the other one, we weren't even sure what we we're gonna do. We thought that we might just put it kind of in the corner where people could take a picture with it. Cause it really didn't fit into any of the exhibits that we had. So what we're gonna actually do is kind of just cannibalize it and cut all these pieces of coral off of all of these and use these throughout the whole place. That'll give us enough coral to kind of canvas the place where it looks really cool. Thanks as always to our friends over at Factor for sponsoring this video. I actually love their product and I get an opportunity to eat something. Really amazing if you're super busy. This is literally two minutes, guys. And today we are gonna actually get some roasted tomato and feta cavatappi. Sounds incredibly uh, exotic. And all you have to do is just poke some holes. Put it in the microwave, two minutes, and you wait. This bustling holiday season, you might be looking for nutritious, flavorful meals to fuel you on jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service, can help you eat well for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle while tackling all of your holiday to-dos. Skip the stress of meal prepping over the holidays with Factor. Choose from 35 weekly flavor-packed, fresh, never frozen meals that support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences. All delivered right to your door and ready to eat in two minutes. Toss meal prepping off your list this holiday season with Factor. 
Skip the meal planning, grocery store shopping, shopping, prepping, and cleaning up, and get Factor's fresh, never frozen meals delivered right to your door. All you have to do is heat and enjoy. Looking for calorie conscious options over the holidays that don't skimp on flavor? Try delicious, dietitian approved, calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. Or need an extra boost to support your wellness goals and feel your best during the holidays? Try Protein Plus with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. Factor isn't just for dinner. Count on extra convenience any time or day with an assortment of 55 add-ons to suit your various preference and taste. Choose from quick breakfast items, lunch to go, and ready to drink cold pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. This December, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meal and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered right to your door, ready in just two minutes, no prep, no mess. My favorite part of working with Factor, of course, is getting a chance to eat it. It's amazing how two minutes you can make something so freaking tasty. Now you guys can head over to factor75.com or click on the link down below. Use my promo code BRIANB50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. All right guys, so today's a very exciting day because we actually have some helpers today from a high school. Hey fellas. My name is Matthew. I'm Adam. Where, how'd you guys get here? I always wanted to work with animals. I saw the Reptarium and I brought it up to my counselor and he just said, hey, I'll schedule it. Dude, no yeah. way. So basically from that point, we kind of got in touch with their counselors and stuff. And I think we're going to start doing a lot more of these. Do you guys really want to come here and like get to work with do us? Do what they do and just bug the crap out of their counselors and teachers and stuff because <laughs> they're here and they're cleaning. What's up? We actually go to high school together, all yeah. uh, three of us. Actually, you right kind here. of look the youngest. Yeah. To be honest with you. That actually <laughs> is true. Yeah. So these are horn worms. Basically, they turn into like some kind of moth or something. But the animals typically go crazy. I say typically, because the last time we filmed this, nobody ate them. Do you want the horned worm? Well, nobody didn't eat. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> We're having a hole in the list. It's <laughs> his first day, might be I'm nice. We're here to work him. This isn't working. Ow. <laughs> So hit these tanks right here a little bit, with some color on them. Uh, kind of jump back over the other side. Just a lot of touching. A little touch up. Yeah. Touch ups here and there, because you guys got a lot done yesterday with the paint. Yeah, you did. No, no, no. What are you doing, dude? We're about to get dangerous. No, you're not. Oh, oh yeah. no. went over the framing for the mammal rooms, which is gonna be really cool. It's gonna be nine foot tall where the header is, so that's gonna be all glass, nine foot tall. All the way across here, there'll be, you know, there'll be the framing and stuff like that, but other than that, just glass all the way along here. That way you can go from page to case, see the animals, just absolutely beautiful. It's gonna turn out really good. I love the way that our meds team finished this out, looks really good, and again, on the inside will be the universal rock. Outside, all glass. One of the exciting things today is progress on the turtle pond. I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm very surprised, actually. I didn't really have the picture picture like Brian did of what this was going to look like, but I think this is going to be like a really good size. I like the way it looks. And it gives me an opportunity to figure out how I'm going to join in like my counters and stuff like that, because this is going to be the first thing you see when you walk into the Reptarium Aquarium. So it's got to flow pretty good. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love the shape. I like the way it's coming along. I'm really excited to see how Jeff makes this come to life. And again, it's amazing how different just a week or two is when it comes to walls. Once the walls go up, then you really start to feel what's going on, right? I mean, you basically have back here, this is back of the house over here. We're gonna have a cool cylinder tank over here when you walk through, back of the house over here, predator tank. But you start walking this way, you know, we're gonna have zigzag tanks going down here, mammals on this side. They're starting to get this wall up. This wall's actually to come all the way across right here and this is actually the dark room right so you get a kind of an idea of what the dark room feels like right when you're in the freshwater and mammal area now you can walk in here this is going to be all painted black no lighting at all but you're going to have three cylinders one cylinder here one cylinder here and one cylinder here it's basically just be all glowfish by the way they're not glowfish that you inject they stopped doing that back in the 90s. This is what they call GMO, which is genetically modified organism. So basically they take like jellyfish and they actually inject them into the DNA of a fish and then it breeds true. So these don't get injected, anything that's not inhumane. I know a lot of people like glowfish, inhumane. These are not inhumane at all. They're just literally bred to be this way. So there's gonna be three glowfish tanks, then you walk through here. And then you walk out here into the actual bigger area, right? And so again, you've got all these tanks here. Right here, you've got the bridge tank. And again, you can't walk any other way. You have to walk through the bridge tank in order because again you got a wall over here you got the big cylinder tank right here that's going to be the jelly tank we've got a big tank right here that's going to be actually lionfish 
big, really cool slanted take on this side. Then of course, you've got the sting right here. So you start to really get the feel for now that we have the walls out of the actual place is gonna do and the flow, it's really coming together, guys. My hair got worm poop. No, you can't. Oh, you look <laughs> These guys, so these are our milk frogs. They're probably one of the cutest frogs we have. So there's that one. If you wanna go ahead and feed the male right at the front here. Oh, he missed. Oh, there he goes. It's so crazy that it's the same color as his mouth. <laughs> Suspense. Nailed it. Next up, we got Cherry Pop, the Aki monitor. They're the smallest monitor species on the planet. And a true monitor, so it is yeah. Varanus. Basically, if you just put it right up to her. We call her Cherry Pop when she's red. Yeah, she pops up out of nowhere for food, so we can see she's the best to do. They're so smart though. But guys, this is obviously the fun part of the job. You guys have helped us feed a few things now. Uh, but the main part of the job that we do is obviously cleaning poop. So I'm gonna take, take tongues, and I'm gonna let you guys just get back to that. All right. Thanks, guys. You're doing great. Things are happening here. It's a nice blue. It is. It's a very pretty blue. It goes good with out here. So cool. Each step. Each, there's so many steps you don't even think about, and then as they come together, it just becomes more and more awesome. All right. So every time I come here, there's new stuff going on. This amazing tank. Now look at they got the floor is black. That makes it pop so much. Like I didn't even think about that, but boy, what a difference that's going to make, and it's going to make you see the fish more. The tree has a little bit more highlights on it coming alive. Now they've got some paint going on so here. Much stuff going on. I'm so happy because we go from nothing happening to now so much stuff is happening. I can't even keep up. They're killing it. And of course, Pepe on our Med's team actually finished out the kind of shaping of the turtle pond. Again, this is nothing. Jeff comes back and makes it into an actual pond. But right now, it's just kind of the shape of it. You can see it kind of curling and stuff like that. But I'll be honest with you, when we kind of started to do it, I was worried about the size of it being maybe a little bit too small. But actually, now that I see it, I think it's perfect size. We're gonna lose a little bit because we're gonna have some boulders on the inside. And then we're gonna lose a little bit on the outside. But for the most part, what you see is what you get. So that's plenty of room for a lot of turtles. It's gonna be really cool. And again, I could just already envision the kids like over here, all the way along here, playing with turtles, feeding turtles. I love the way it's gonna look. And again, and this is going to be the first thing you see when you walk in. So it's a really important thing to have that first impression. Amazing. What the heck is a med doing over here? It's only a $20,000 piece of coral. Wow, take it easy there, champ. <laughs> Jeez, did I talk? I, actually, this was the one we wanted to do anyways. <laughs> This is the only thing, one thing I love better than carbon is demo. Demo? Oh, well, then you're perfect. You're perfect. Then. Is it going to come off, you think, okay? Or? Yeah, it's popping off pretty easily. Oh, okay, good. And then they all have the inserts to oh, screw okay, cool. and... Oh, I see. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Well, that worked out great. Yeah. It did work out really good. It's sad to see them go, though. You know, I mean, yeah. it's sad, but it's like, you know, it's so much more important to have, you know, the corals throughout that it's. It's, it's going to look so much it's, better. Yeah, it's way better. So. All right, well, good. back at it, Mr. Right. Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we have the Archer tank set. The tree is all painted, looks absolutely wonderful. They painted the floor that looks so absolutely incredible. Everything's painted. So basically, what you see is what you get here. I mean, other than just buffing out the acrylic, kind of doing some finish work, this enclosure is basically done. We'll have some tree branches up here and stuff like that as far as leaves. Other than that, this enclosure is done. It's one of the first ones that's like 99% complete. I guess this one and the Predator tank as well. It's so awesome to see the turtle pond starting to get going. I can't wait till it gets completely fixtured out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.